Hello you lovely lot! Welcome to part 2 of my jelly plate etching ink wallpaper and newspaper print tutorial. This is how far I've come the last time and now I will develop this print with colored pencils and graphite and add a little collage at the end. If you like my videos please give me a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any of my new videos please do subscribe. That helps me a lot. Also, please tell me in the comments how you like my techniques and explanations. I really want to know what your thoughts are. At this point, I'd like to thank you again, Mark. Thank you for the great idea of printing these old newspapers. I'll put a link to that video in the info box below. What makes this piece so exciting to work out is the different patterns and colors you can give the leaves. I'm erasing through the middle of the graphite lines to give me a highlight on the leaf. As I mentioned before, I want to enhance the writing I printed with the German newspaper. On the left you can see the original 60s ad with an incredible lovely design. I am doing this quite carefully because I don't want to lose the original print feel, but I can't do it too light as these leaves would be done too much in contrast with the other leaves, if that makes any sense.
This is a graphite water soluble pencil, which I actually have not tried out with its original function yet. Please tell me in the comments, would you like to see me experimenting with it? I lost a little bit of the original leaf structures of the wallpaper, so I'm adding that again. This is a good trick to erase graphite when it's gotten too dark. Just roll the kneaded eraser on it carefully. I am strengthening the leaf lines a little so they will be visible better through the baking paper I am going to glue on. So, this is it. I especially like that I have a real nice couple to frame now. What you cannot see here is that I made a mistake. I thought that the blue pencil of the first piece was cobalt blue, but in fact it was dark indigo. That reminds me to remind you, never be perfect. See ya!